Daniel, you're on three out of four, three wins after an upset on the first round. You feel you're back on track? Well, I don't know. I mean, actually, I didn't have a feeling like I, I, I've played, you know, badly in the first round. So, I mean, it happens. So, I mean, normally it happens not, not against as a guy with like 20 or something, but it happens. So, I mean, he played a brilliant game and so what can I know? I mean, even with the computer, I didn't manage to find a mistake, to be honest. So, I mean, I don't know. I played, I've played like four interesting games. So it's okay, yeah. So it it appears that for you, the quality of the game is more important than the result. Uh, yeah, maybe not even equality, but you know, it's a, it's a number of adventures, I would say, yeah, in the game. So yeah, kind of. Right, and adventures are always good. Tell us about today's game. Uh, what happened? Well, I mean, I was quite lucky today because yeah, I managed to get is on the line. I've t I've looked at uh, yeah in the morning. So it appeared on the board and I got a big edge uh, after the opening. And I mean, it would be nothing special, yeah, if not this queen sacrifice, which actually lasted for two moves and then I'm like a very big number of material up, but yeah, still it's quite nice. So I mean, it was mo more or less bad for, bad for him from, from the opening, yeah, so I don't know. Just going back to round one, you mentioned that, th that even though you lost, you were not very upset because you were happy with the quality of the game. Well, it's not even about equality, but it, yeah, it was a nice game. I mean, I believe he was quite happy. I actually saw, saw, saw his press conference, so he was quite happy, I guess. So, I mean, yeah, making people happy is always nice. And uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, my only issue was like it's uh, nine elbow points. I mean, as it was my only issue, I mean, all the rest is fine. If I would lose like this to, I don't know, top of or somebody else, it would be okay. Yeah, but this time it was, yeah, a bit unexpected, but still a nice game, I guess. Making other people happy, that's, that's an interesting attitude. Now, last night you were also playing the Team Blitz here. Yeah. How was your experience? No, it was not, but it, it's not my first time, I guess, on Blitz. No, I, but we did pretty well, I guess. No, but the thing was actually, I mean, as, as, as only question, which is, I mean, which remains to be a question, is, I mean, who, who is this guy who looks like Korobov and plays like Korobov, but... Uh, he, and is not Korobov, yeah, but he's like, you know, he's like Korobov 15 years ago, so I would say. So, I mean, uh, they have uh, the same style in chess and the same style in dress and I mean, and so on and so on. And actually, uh, today I was lucky to, yeah, to meet him and, uh, yeah, I, I actually followed him to the board. And then I, I, I decided to look at his name. Yeah, he's not Korobov. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> all right. Well, we're glad that mystery got solved and we wish you all the best for the remaining rounds and look forward to having you back here. Thanks.